In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about Remainder Theorem and we will do a couple of practice problems related to Remainder Theorem. Okay, so let's talk about the statement of the Remainder Theorem. If a polynomial f of x of degree n is greater than n is greater than equal to 1 is divided by x negative a till no x term exists in the remainder then f of a is going to be remainder okay i'm repeating if a polynomial f of x has degree n is greater than or equal to 1 is divided by x minus a till no x term exists in the remainder then f of a is called the remainder okay so in previous class recall the long to be in that you have been doing and sometimes when, when one polynomial is divided by the second polynomial and when you would do some a couple of steps in the long to be in you would find no remainder but in some cases you would be able to find a remainder in terms of a constant or in terms of a variable but remainder theorem gives us a shortcut strategy and method to figure out the remainder let's take an example when a polynomial f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared negative 2x plus 5 is divided by x negative 1 what would be the remainder so by the remainder theorem when a polynomial f of x is divided by x negative a then f of a is the remainder means that function would be some value at point A but what is point A that you have to figure out from x negative A like x negative A equals 0 and x would be A just you need to plug in this A in f of x and you can easily figure out f of A in the same sense this polynomial is divided by x negative A so you need to figure out this constant number so x negative 1 equals 0 and x would be positive 1 now substitute this 1 in the function f of 1 would be remainder according to the theorem so it would be 1 whole q plus 4 times 1 squared negative 2 into 1 plus 5 it's going to be 1 plus 4, negative 2 plus 5. And it would be 5 plus 4, 9, 10, and it would be 8. 8 is the remainder when f of x would divide it by x negative 1. Okay. Let's take another example. That's pretty simple when a polynomial is divided by another factor and there is given that the remainder is something and you have to figure out the value of a constant that is in the polynomial. So polynomial f of x is x cubed plus k x squared negative 7x plus 6 has a remainder negative 4 when divided by x 
x plus 2. Figure out the value of k in this polynomial. Okay, pause the video and try to figure out this question. So, this f of x is divided by x plus 2. The remainder is negative 4. So, substitute x plus 2 equals 0. You would find x equals negative 2. So, basically, f of negative 2 would be the remainder. Substitute negative 2 in the function negative 2 whole cube plus k times negative 2 whole square negative 7 times negative 2 plus 6. Okay, so it would be negative 8 plus 4k plus 7 times 2, 14 plus 6. 20 minus 8, it would be 12 plus 4k. That is f of negative 2. And it's given that remainder is negative 4. So you can you can set up the equation as 12 plus 4k is the remainder and also it's given that negative 4 is the remainder so you can write 12 plus 4k equals negative 4 and in this way you can easily figure out the value of k. So it will be negative 12, negative 12, 4k equals negative 16, divide 4 on both sides so k would be negative 4. Hope you would find it helpful.